today I'm going to teach you how to do this uh, cell shading effect I have here. I put it on a default gun I found on Blintswap. So as you can see, there's an outline around the gun that moves when you fire it. So, and it works even on complex models with scripting. So jumping over into a default scene here, I just have a basic cube. Now at the top, make sure you're in Blender Game. Over here under Render Options, I have it in GLSL. And then of course, have it in Textured down at the viewport. So all we have to do is take the object you want to have the cell shading on it, shift D to duplicate it, go into edit mode on your newly created object, hit alt S to scale on the normals and scale it up slightly, then create a new material for it, make it completely black, and then make it shadeless as well. And then just go back to object mode, and if we go and hit P, it's still black, because we have to flip the normals. So select everything, hit spacebar, type in flip normals and then if we hit P again you can see there is now a black outline how this is works is because of the way normals act um, if they're all on the outside it reflects light however if the normals are flipped it allows light in and then reflects it when it hits the back one and that's how you can do that uh, also important to note is that you can also change the color as you please and this gives you the ability to you know, outline your object if you want to outline in a specific color. Um, you know, of course, it's the game engine, so if you want to outline goals or whatever, this is a very viable way to do it. Now, when I move this object, of course, the uh, self shading does not follow. So simply, all you do is parent it to the object you want shaded, and it will now follow it with animations. That's all I did here on this gun. You can see if I grab the outer black layer and move it, uh, we have the basic base one beneath it. And that's all it does, is it's just parented to it. So that'll conclude this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.